Hello everybody, we are back here on Call of the Wild, the Angler. Today we're going to be going after some lake trout, and of course, as always, we will be showing the diamonds that we've caught since the last video uh, towards the end of this video. But recently I have seen quite a few people using a specific fishing method for catching the big diamond lake trout, and what I'm seeing a lot of people doing is just taking the largest possible lure of the specific lures that lake trout actually like, and using only that. And while you don't really catch anything besides diamonds, when you do finally get a fish, it usually will be a diamond one, or at the very least a big gold. And it seems like a pretty cool way to hunt for some diamonds. Uh, you really won't catch too many fish, but a lot of the time when you do catch a fish, it should be a pretty big one. And that's kind of what we're hoping for today. I've caught plenty of lake trout, but never got a diamond. So that is the goal of today's video is attempting to get a diamond by using the biggest possible lures that we can for all of the different uh, lures that lake trout like. And the one that we're starting off with, oh my gosh, we already got a fish on. Well, this is not how I expected to be starting the day. Literally the first cast we got a giant on. Let's crank the drag up. This was on the 2 aught spinner. Let's hope that this will get us our first diamond. I think it will be. Because it was taking line out, and I haven't seen any of the smaller ones take line out like that. Though it could be a big gold, but I got a good feeling that this will be a diamond one. And if so, this will easily be the best diamond that I have caught here in the angler. Now even though this is most likely a large gold or a diamond, it's still not fighting super hard because we are using the he the heaviest tackle in the game, which is uh, a little bit bigger than what the small diamonds would be, so... If this is a small diamond, then it's not going to put up a massive fight, though it will st still take a bit of time to reel in, as we're seeing here. Whenever we do hook into one of the 50 pounders, whenever that may be, those ones do seem to still put up a fight, even with some of the heavier tackle in the game. I haven't actually seen a lot of them be caught, though, so I don't have too much of a reference point to go off for that, but I, ima but I imagine they still fight quite heavily. But this guy right here is almost in. I'm really hoping that this is going to be a diamond one. I mean, it bit on a 2 watt spinner. It's got to be a giant. And there he is. I mean, it's a big gold. It's not a diamond, but it is a big gold. So that's nice to start things off with a 29 pounder. Definitely could have been a lot smaller if we had used a different lure, but I think because we're using the 2 watt. We managed to get this guy right here at 29 pounds. And honestly, I wonder if that's why I see a decent amount of people using the 2 watt. Maybe it's because it doesn't only just catch the diamonds, but also catches a lot of the big golds too. Because I know when you're using the 4 jerk jerkbait, there's a pretty good chance that you will not hook any of the golds, and the only fish that will bite will be diamonds. And at that point, you could go hours without getting anything if you're unlucky and don't have any diamonds in the area that you're fishing. So I could definitely see why this seems to be a more popular choice for a lot of people, and this will probably be the way that I fish for them, as it does seem to get more bites than you would if you were using a 4 jerk jerkbait, while still keeping the size of the fish relatively large. And I guess before we go any further in this video, I should definitely mention that this is by no means like a guide to catching lake trout. Uh, half of this is me testing things out that I've seen other people using uh, to see if I can have success with it as well. So we definitely might end up changing our technique halfway through the video. And there could be some things that I mentioned that aren't 100% accurate as I am still learning about using the larger lures to hunt for diamonds myself. So... Hopefully we get everything right in this video, but there definitely could be a few things that I misspeak on. But at least from what I'm seeing here, I do think that if we end up hooking into a fish, it's going to be a big gold or a diamond. I don't think any of the silver lake trout will end up biting on a 2 watt spinner. So hopefully we'll get a bunch of giants today and we're probably going to move around a few times to cover a lot of ground. Because after you fish an area for a little bit, there's a good chance that if you haven't had a diamond, it's probably not in the area. And I think instead of waiting for one to like respawn in this area or waiting for one to swim over here, we'll probably move to a bunch of different locations and try to catch some. Well, as we reel up cast number two, I think before we go any further, we should probably show where we're fishing. We are up here at the top left of the map at this giant lake. This spot has always been so good for lake trout ever since I first started fishing here for them. And it's definitely one of my favorite spots. We'll probably end up checking a couple of the ponds as well. Because down here, I believe, there is a lake trout pond right there. 
and I think this one as well, so we might end up trying those too. Uh, but for now, we are going to be over at this lake up at the top left, and it's been a really good spot for them. Oh, there we go. We got another one on. It took us about 10 minutes to get another fish on, but this one does seem to have a little more fight than the last. Let's crank that drag up even more up to 85. There we go. We finally got another big fish on. Now this one was pulling some line out when we had the drag at 75%. However, now that we're up to 85, it's not really pulling any out. But then again, it's not coming in super fast either. To be honest, it seems about the same as the last one. Maybe slightly bigger. But we can just hope that it's at least 35 pounds. And here we go. There is our lake trout. Yeah, about the same as the last one, 27.99 pounds, and it does, it definitely does seem like my theory is correct. Uh, you're only going to get golds or better when using these larger lures, and I think the 2 out spinner is just small enough to where you do still get a decent bit of golds. From what I've seen, though, if you use the bigger stuff like the 4 out lures, then you pretty much only catch the diamond lake trout, but again, it takes like an hour, sometimes even longer to even hook into something, so it's one of those like give and take type of things. You uh, sacrifice getting a lot of fish in order to get a couple quality fish, which is why I'm probably going to stick with the 2 out spinner. That way I get a little more action, but there's still going to be gold or better. There we go, another one. Okay, that one has a little more fight. We're at 85% and it pulled out a little bit of line. It's definitely adding more tension. This might be our biggest one yet. I think this is definitely the biggest lake trout yet. And this is just the cast after that last one. And I think we finally hooked into something that's 30 plus. Maybe even 35 plus. Yeah, this thing is fighting like crazy. And it's still occasionally pulling line out. Even down to 100 feet, usually by this point, if it was one of the 27 or 29 pounders, it would have stopped having that much fight in it. So I definitely think this one is going to be at least 30 and hopefully 35 plus. Really hoping for our first diamond lake trout here and maybe if we're lucky it'll be a 40 pounder or maybe even a 50 if we're incredibly lucky. Well, he's about to be visible. We're actually pulling him in pretty quickly now. And, oh my gosh, it was so close to diamond. This guy is less than a pound away from diamond from what I know. Most of the time, I've seen the smallest diamonds being around like 35 and a half pounds. So I'm assuming diamond is somewhere between 35 and like 35.70, somewhere in that range. This guy was almost a diamond. That is crazy right there. Definitely the best lake trout I've ever caught by probably like a half pound. This guy's a giant. There we go, finally another fish. After about 20 minutes since the last one, we finally have hooked into another. Unfortunately, it really doesn't seem like it's that big. This is most likely going to be around 25 to 28 if I were to take a guess, so not a giant by any means. Well, here we go. This one is most likely the smallest that we've caught today, and it is, I believe, at 24.52 pounds. Definitely the smallest one that we have seen on the day, but it's still a gold regardless. And so this little pond right here is pretty small compared to a lot of the places that lake trout are, so there really shouldn't be too much of a problem trying to uh, fish for any gold or higher lake trout in this area. If there's any of them in this pond, then there's a pretty good chance they're going to bite within the first couple casts because there's just not a lot of ground to cover, which is good for us. However, I don't know how well they bite at night, so I might try to find another server real quickly. As I haven't had the best of luck fishing for lake trout or really any trout species at night, so... Yeah, it might be something that gets in our way here, and in fact, I think we'll probably end up trying to find a new server. Well, with seemingly no diamonds in sight for the lake trout and nothing wanting to bite at this little pond, I think we're going to go ahead and take a look at the diamond that we got since the last video, because we did manage to catch one more diamond since the last angler video that was posted on the channel, and of course it was a golden trout. Like, of all things, of course it was a golden trout. I kind of expected it to be, but... 
it was still cool nonetheless. So we did finally get our third diamond ever since the full release of the game and us resetting our account. And it is the second diamond golden trout that we have managed to get as well. And I actually got this right before doing a live stream with Kill Clinton. In fact, he was in the chat when I ended up catching it. However, I didn't have my audio set up properly in my NVIDIA replay. So I wasn't able to uh, get the audio portion of it. But we at least have the video footage for it. And it is our third diamond, which is pretty cool, even though it is a golden trout once again. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you did and also let me know what else we should try to go for here in the angler or if we should continue going for the giant lake trout as we came very close today but didn't quite get the diamond. But with that being said, thank you all for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.